Okay, welcome to What Does Awesome Sound Like? And uh, we have an equally awesome panel here. Did I just really say that? Yes. Um, from uh, to my right is Adam Flaker, who, uh, hold on. We didn't do any slides because we have such cool stuff to show. I just want to Adam is a technical architect from Round Arch, and uh, he'll be showing something really cool. I'm Chuck Friedman, director of development platform from Ribbit, and I'll be showing equally cool stuff. Uh, Brendan Lee, who's our Flash Platform Specialist from Ribbit, is here. Show me your shirt. Don't mess with that. Excellent. And uh, Ryan Stewart, Platform Evangelist from Adobe. Uh, you, you may have seen yesterday present the final award at the Web Awards, so no envelopes in this exercise, thank you. And Kevin Matheny from Best Buy, Senior e Business Architect. How did I get that all in order except for Adam? That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna give a brief intro, show some opening stuff, and what you're gonna see is super cool. So this is the uh, Ribbit developer site blog, developer.ribbit.com slash blog. So after we demo all this stuff, once everyone has a chance to upload it, you can actually access all this right from this blog. So we're kind of using this as our, as our table of contents, our table of the panel for the speakers. Okay, so intro. Um, I'm from Ribbit. Uh, Ribbit is an API that allows you to inject phone data and activity into an application. What that means is you can do all sorts of cool stuff with voice, like make and receive phone calls, record and send messages, send SMS to mobile devices, uh, get messages from your inbox, transcribe them from speech to text, and all sorts of cool things. And what we're doing here is we're going to show you how a little bit of that, a little bit of some cool stuff like open source Merapi that Adam's going to show. Um, if they're just going to really mind-blowing stuff, very, very cool things uh, that we think are awesome. So I'm going to start and show you some funky little cool stuff, and uh, then we'll go. Each of us is going to have about six minutes to show their examples. We'll do a brief Q&A, and we'll move on. And that way we get all sorts of fun content, and everybody goes home happy. So, the first thing I want to show you is up until this point, um, Rivet has just been a Flash Platform API, and most of the stuff today you're going to see leverages that uh, very excitingly, but um, we are uh, launching a RESTful API uh, this week. You're good. You're good. Okay. okay. So, let me reach in, I always get you know. <laughs> Um, so, uh, we're launching a RESTful API, and it, as a core API, we're going to be able to launch all sorts of other languages around that. Uh, so, we set up a site, yourcall.rivet.com, and we also have been giving out shirts. We have a ton to give out to folks here today, uh, down in the, the Mashery Circus Mashery Swamp, which is the first floor of the convention center. Uh, this is the shirt, which is really cool. This is the artist of the shirt, which is even cooler. I love it. It's so awesome. <laughs> That's okay, but it's really awesome. So we are planning to get out here too, so you don't have to walk all the way back to the convention center and just, you know, yeah. Yes. There you um, go. The other thing that we did for South by Southwest is a labs uh, site. So this is where all the stuff that we're cooking up, a lot of the things that you'll see here today, you'll be able to access. And then lastly is our developer site, developer.ribbit.com, which is where you go to sign up for the API and start playing with stuff. So now that I've paid the bills, let's show some cool stuff. The first thing I want to show you is a little sample called Voice of Sketch. And how many people knew that you can actually access the microphone through Flash? Yeah, it's really quite a unique thing. And, uh, and I think we need to celebrate it. It's only been in there since Flash Player 6, which was four versions ago. And I think like six years ago. So it's been there for Last a while. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this is just an example that uh, shows uh, microphone activity. In, in Flash, and it's just like, it's like an EKG, so I can... Anyway, so, just a cool thing to show that the microphone's there, uh, and you can access it. Pretty simple. I'm going to post this up, too. But it's just a fun thing, just a warm-up, you know. So that was Voice of Sketch. Chuck, is there any other way to access the microphone in, uh, on, you know, through the browser? Just, just a question. Just to I don't, I don't, none that I know of. Do you know of? Okay, so it flashes it right now, and I think Ribbit is one of the third-party APIs, I'm sure Ryan from Adobe would agree, that really leverages that at the hill, so very cool. Um, so now I'm going to show you another example, which is called Video Caller ID, uh, and I'm going to log in with my Ribbit developer account here, 
And what I'm going to ask uh, somebody, some kind person, from, that's me, by the way, um, at my home. And I'm going to ask uh, an audience to stand up and raise their hand. Someone that doesn't mind having their phone number be shown on screen. I want someone out there so I can throw a shirt at them. Anyway, yes? Okay. What's, what's your name? Rosie. Rosie. You mind standing up? Yeah. Okay, and I hope you don't have um, AT&T because I don't think you'll be able to call me. What do you have? Do you have a signal? I got signal. Do you have a signal? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've been hearing people having that signal. I'm full signal. Okay, good, good. Perfect. Rosie. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. All right, Rosie, can you call the number on the screen? I got that bad guy that's super close. Are you completely Celtic so far? What's that? Because you've got the. No, that's my Zelda shirt, and that's my medal from Go Kart that we won a gold medal. Are you done? Is it done? Okay. Is that your number? Yeah. It's your number. Cool. Thank you, Rosie. Stars, stars, stars. All right. I'm going to throw out a shirt to you. Oh, okay. Awesome. Or you can, why don't you, yeah, you come up. Yeah, I want to throw it out. It's probably going to be, uh, did you bring any smaller sizes? I did. What size do you want? We'll just throw one out, and then if it's something you need to change, we'll do that afterwards. Oh, okay. Well, Thank you. All right. So, Chuck, could you uh, talk a little bit about what just happened there? Yeah, so this is the Q&A. Yeah, so, hold on. I have to throw the shirt. This is the fun part. Ready? Ready? Thank you, Rosie. This is Chuck shirt cannon free. Okay, so uh, what happened is I used the Ribbit API here and actually used it to receive an incoming call into Flash, which you can see if I right click, I'm using Flash here. And when I get an incoming call, I get it as an event from the server, so it actually gets pushed to me. And then it um, shows up and the caller ID, and instead of just showing your caller ID, your phone number, I'm calling up video dynamically, which is another cool thing you can do with this technology. And it's just me pulling up different numbers uh, representing your phone number. So this is how I get people's phone numbers. Pretty cool. All right, so that's it for me. And now we're going to go over to Adam. And Adam's going to show something cool about uh, Merapi. Oh, anyone in, the question, anyone in the audience have a question for me? about that demo. Are all of these demos available on the labs.rivet or the your call.rivet? It, yeah. Or the, the right now? No, no, they'll be, they're, they'll be po this is available. It's developer.rivet.com slash blog. So I just posted all the examples out on the blog. There's like a table of contents here for the, uh, which one is it? This one. Yeah, for the, whole, for the whole session. So it'll all be linked here eventually, hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, so Adam Flater is going to come in. So can, yeah. can, I just, can I just recap? Well, yeah. you ask a well, I didn't ask you, but I have a statement. Yes. Um, so, so kind of the um, the cool thing that I like about that is the fact that you could actually run through and manipulate how a video would be playing. I mean, I think you all got that, but you could do some pretty integrated video playing manipulation or, or even like a ARG or a game or something along those lines um, just through Flash. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. So. Thank you, sir.